Okay, in this section, I will talk about graphing a linear function by finding x and uh, y intercepts. So when we were graphing uh, a linear function using a table, we picked out two random points, usually around zero. Let's say we picked out this point and that point. And what we did after that was just connect the dots. And we found the linear function. Now, when finding the, when graphing a, a linear function uh, by finding x and y intercepts, what we do is we find the x and the y intercept. So we find two specific points on the y axis, or one specific point on the y axis, and one specific point on the x axis, and then connect the dots. So, how do we do this? Well, remember that all along the y axis, the uh, x coordinate is zero because we haven't moved anywhere to the right or anywhere to the left. So the x coordinate is always zero. On the other hand, when we're talking about x intercepts, all along the x axis, the y coordinate is always zero. And these two principles, or these two uh, things, are going to be very useful when we're solve when we're trying to find x and y intercepts. So basically what we do is, when we have the equation, we replace, to find x-intercept, we replace y equals 0, and then we solve for x. And to find the y-intercept, we do the opposite. We replace x by 0 and solve for y. So let's see how, how this works. Let's say we have an equation. Uh, like 3x equals 9y plus 18. Okay. So I'm intentionally picking equations where the points of intercept will uh, will be equal to a whole number and, and not a fraction. Just to show you how the, the process, uh, just to show you basically the process without any tedious and long calculations with fractions. So again, remember, when we're trying to find the x-intercept. We replace y by 0 and solve for x. So let's do that. So let's replace this y by 0. So we go 3x equals 9 times 0 plus 18. So we're going to have 3x equals 18 divided by 3 divided by 3. Our x is going to be equal to 6. So this is going to be our x-intercept, where x is equal to 6. Okay. So let's solve for the y-intercept. So we do the same thing, but instead of replacing the y by 0, we replace the x by 0, and now solve for y. So 3 times 0 equals 9y plus 18. 0 equals 9y plus 18. And then negative 9y equals 18 divided by negative 9. And then our y intercept is going to be negative 2. So we now found our x intercept and our y intercept. Intercept. So let's plug this into our equation or our graph. So the only thing we do now is to plug these points out and then connect the dots. So y equals x equals 6 and y equals negative 2. So x equals 6 going to be right here, and y equals negative 2 is going to be right here. And then we just connect these dots and make a linear function. And that would be your final answer. So keep in mind this right here. To find the x-intercept, you replace y 
by zero and solve for x. To find the y-intercept, you replace x by zero and solve for y. A very useful uh, principle and rule when uh, trying to find x and y-intercepts. Okay.